If I seem annoyed, it's because I just recorded this entire video and then I checked the footage and the audio didn't work. That's why the audio sounds weird. I don't know what's wrong with my mic, so we're not even gonna try. <laughs> hey guys, it's Anarchy, and today, since it's Valentine's Day, the day of love, I thought it only appropriate to talk about one of my newest obsessions, which is love in deep space. I did not know anything about this game going into it, much like Baldur's Gate and a lot of the games I download. Listen, I'm not the most informed gamer, and I like going into things mostly blind. What made me download this game is months ago, I saw footage on Twitter of somebody playing a game where there was like a cute virtual boy on the screen, and they were tapping the screen, and the boy was responding according to their touch. Like if they touched his head, he like would shake his hair or whatever. She touched other parts of him and I was like, that seems interesting. I pre-ordered it on the app store because it was just a free app and I didn't think much of it. I moved on with my life. Fast forward to about two weeks ago and I got a notification on my phone saying, hey, that game you pre-ordered, Love in Deep Space, it's uh, available, you can play it now. And I was like, oh my God, I completely forgot I downloaded that. Okay, I downloaded it completely, like opened up the game and I'm greeted with this really pretty cinematic, like the graphics are beautiful. These three guys just vibing and being attractive. Sounds great. I enter all my information, I go inside the game, I start the game, and I'm greeted with a character customization screen, which is surprising to me because I'm used to dating sims where you don't get to customize your character. You get a blank slate, standard looking girl who is always light skinned and white, and that is you. That is the representation of you. You can change her name, maybe. It usually obscures her face so you can kind of try to pretend it's you, but uh, let's be honest, she don't look like me usually. So when I just saw a character creation screen at all, I was a little surprised and excited. And then I went to skin tones and was shocked to find that you can be black in this game. Upon discovering this, I immediately went to Twitter and TikTok and shared with all of you. And you all did the same thing I did, which was freak the fuck out, download this game immediately, and <laughs> tell me about it <laughs> consistently. I posted a video on TikTok talking about the fact that you could be black in this game, and it's filled with comments of you saying, oh bet, downloading right now. It's a dating sim where I actually look like myself. Representation is important. Gaming companies making dating sims specifically. Hi, you wanna sell your game? You want people to download your game? Make it so that I can be black. So many comments saying that you guys downloaded it just because of that. I'm sorry for those of you who got addicted because of that. I didn't mean to, I was just sharing that I thought it was cool I could be black in this game. <laughs> Once you're done and you confirm your character, you press OK, and then your character pulls out a Glock. Huh? Two of them actually. Huh? Huh? Dual wielding guns. This is a fighting game. Did you think this was a dating sim? No. If this game was a meal, the fighting game would be the burger and the dating sim would be the fries. Everyone loves fries. Fries are some people's favorite part of the meal, but the burger is the fighting game. <laughs> this was a surprise to me and most of you. The company who makes this game, Infold, has chosen to advertise this game by only showing the dating sim love parts and not the fighting game, which is what you spend most of your time doing, which is an interesting choice. For someone like me, it was a surprise. Somewhat of a pleasant one, because it was like more interesting that way, like than just having a straight up dating sim that could get boring. Before I get into more spoilery or like content that you wouldn't see within like the first two or three days of playing this game, if you're still just thinking about downloading, I'm not gonna spoil too much right now. I'm just gonna go over the three boys that you get, summarize them in a few words, and then we'll get into spoilers, because this game is interesting. <laughs> First guy, Xavier. Xavier is the main one, I would say. In my opinion, he's like the, the main one. He's the main boy. He is kind of your coworker. You do your first fight with him. He's kind of like the tutorial character. Head empty, no thoughts, just vibes, just niceness and vibes. He's bad at cooking. He falls asleep a lot. Head in the clouds is a good phrase to describe Xavier. Not my favorite, but I like him. Next is Zane. He is not my favorite at all. I only do Zane things when the game forces me to. He's a doctor. If you played Mystic Messenger, he's a lot like Ju Min, except he's a little nicer. He's very funny. He's your childhood friend. He's also your doctor. He's a general practitioner, but he's gotten awards for surgery, and I don't know enough about medicine to know if that's a thing that makes sense, because general practitioners aren't usually surgeons, are they? Especially at age 27? He's 27. Somebody tell me if that actually makes any sense. Last is Xavier. I could say a lot about Xavier because he's my favorite, and there's a lot of spoilers related to him, and you actually don't know that much about him within the first few minutes of the game. He's an artist. 
He's sassy, rich, gives you money, wants you to be his bodyguard, and pays you up front. I, he is my favorite. <laughs> I like his looks and I like his personality. I think he's fun. Then there's you. You're a hunter. You hunt these things called wanderers. How much of this game's story have I actually retained? You hunt them because you were attacked by one as a child and it messed up your heart and it gave you a heart condition. So you have a heart condition, but you're also like a secret agent or like an Avenger kind of person. You shouldn't be doing what you're doing with a heart condition. You know how like Steve Rogers couldn't join the army because he was too like skinny and they were like, you'll die. That's you right now. But to be fair, you do have sign of the equivalent of like a super soldier serum. You have like a protocor, which is a thing in the game that I don't fully understand. That's what you get when you defeat a wanderer and there's one in your heart. And that's why you go see Zane so much because you need to go to the doctor a lot because you have a heart condition. Am I making sense? Is any of this making sense? Oh, also you have a grandma who you were excited to see this weekend if you were just playing this game for the first time. And you have a Caleb. I don't know what Caleb's relation to you is. I think they explain it. They didn't explain it well enough. It kind of sounds like he's your brother, but then I think you are not related by blood, I think. I don't know what Caleb is to you exactly. You grew up together with grandma. You are going to visit him and grandma this weekend. Keep that in mind. I think that's all I can talk about before I go into spoilers. If you're wondering whether you should get this game, it's free. This game will engulf maybe an hour of your day. It literally kind of stops you from playing after like roughly, and you can find an hour's worth of stuff to do in the game before it's like, there's nothing left to do here. Go on with your life. So just like it's a cool thing to have on your phone and play every once in a while, it does require a lot of space. I will warn you. It requires a lot of space and your phone has to be pretty recent to handle it. Stop now if you're thinking about downloading the game and you don't know anything else other than what I just told you. Everything I just told you, you find out within like the first day. You can leave, subscribe on your way out. Are they gone? Oh my god. <laughs> this game is traumatizing. I'm skipping over Zane's whole thing with that guy in the mountains. I don't want to go over that. <laughs> Let's start with what I was saying about Caleb and Grandma. So you go to visit Grandma over the weekend. You see Caleb, your brother. Some weird shenanigans happen that kind of seem like they're related to your job and all the mysteries going on in this game, but you don't really have time to deal with it. Caleb's like, hey, why didn't you tell me weird stuff was going on? I thought you trusted me. He goes into the house ahead of you, and then the house explodes. <sighs> the house explodes. So Grandma and Caleb are dead. I think they're dead. We assume they're dead. That was the last family you had left. I don't know where your parents are. They're not around. You are alone in the world. <laughs> what does she do? She takes like a short break, goes to the mountains with Zane for a hot minute, and then goes back to work. In fact, she goes back to work harder. Now she's like, I must figure out all of the shenanigans going on with the protocol in my heart and why they got blown up, what happened, because it seems like it was like some kind of terrorist thing. I don't know. All I know is she goes ham on going to work. In fact, a little bit too much. She starts looking for like black market things and she's using every connection she has to get to the black market things, including all three of the guys that you're dating at the same time. Don't ask questions about that. Zane, you just kind of find out he had knew your grandma and your grandma knew about the thing in your heart and she also might have been like taking care of you because of the thing in your heart because she just wanted to keep an eye on you like she might have been some kind of government agent so that's a thing. Raphael you know he has like dealings with the black market because he gets weird shit that he uses in his paintings that makes people hallucinate. I sound like I'm ranting. I sound like a crazy person. This is all the game. So you go with him to try and enter the black market and he helps you get in. Then you use Xavier to get even deeper in. By the way, you there's a cutscene where Xavier stabs and murders a man. That's one of the parts that disturbed me the most, but the game just kind of skirts past it. All of this is happening while you're deeply traumatized. Then you go into the black market trying to get attacked because you think that will lead you closer to the information that you seek. You do get attacked and injected with like a neurotoxin. Uh, 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 what is going on? This is a dating sim. <laughs> I downloaded this game to date cute boys. What are we doing? 
where are we right now? What is happening? Then like it turns out maybe Raphael led you there on purpose and like he got paid and the guy he's talking to? No one seems to have noticed that the guy, the mysterious shadowy figure that Raphael is talking to in the last cutscene sounds suspiciously like Caleb. That's probably Caleb. I don't know. That's just, that's me speculating. And then that's where the game has stopped now with the story at least. That's where we are with the plot right now. I don't even know how to wrap that up. I don't know what to say, just except like, what the hell? I downloaded this because of the cute ads where you tap the boy. What is this? Anyway, going back to that part, there's a lot of other cute stuff in this game. You can do these little dates. You play claw machines with them and you play this cat card game that's really fun but also really frustrating. And you see the tonal dissonance between what I'm talking about. She went into a black market and got hit with a neurotoxin and I think Loki is getting human trafficked maybe. And cute card game, that's why I wanted to talk about this game. And it's not just me. I made a post on TikTok talking about that tonal dissonance and like how this game is not what I expected and everybody roughly said the same thing some of my favorite comments are nah because what role are we the victim the fighting was a good surprise the angst wasn't born to love forced to fight not gonna lie I thought it was all cutesy girly girly but later homegirl be fighting for her damn life she is tired that's what I said she does not have time for these men she is traumatized and she knows this she very much like these guys are hitting on her basically like confessing to her every five minutes and she's like no 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 I just want to figure out what's wrong with me and like what's going on in my life and fair I feel like she shouldn't be doing this stuff and she should just pick a guy and maybe relax or stop talking to this man altogether figure out what's going on in your life <laughs> last thing I'll talk about based on the ads for this game this game knows what it's doing the ads are very suggestive as are a lot of the cards in this game nothing explicit but very suggestive and I've seen some people in the fandom reacting like hey all of this uh, sexual content being created by the fandom is uh, weird because there's minors here and my response to that is should y'all be here? Should y'all be here? <laughs> there's like a billboard ad of Raphael tied up. <laughs> That's how they're advertising the game. I don't know that's just a side tangent like the, just this game is out of pocket in so many ways. <laughs> But yeah, if you're interested in this game, besides like downloading it, if you want to see or hear more of it, I've been streaming it every once in a while on Twitch. I have a Twitch and I've been streaming regularly on it now. I've been streaming for like roughly two months. That's where you can see me a little bit more regularly. I also plan on putting like cutdowns of some of my streams up on this channel. But yeah, if you want to see more Love in Deep Space or more of me playing like Baldur's Gate or any other games or just drawing or just chatting or working on cosplays, I'm over there on Twitch. I do plan to also upload more YouTube videos this year and just in the future in general not like all the time I'm gonna try and aim for once a month maybe once every couple months every time something like really cool happens and I feel like I want to make a video out of it that's it for this video let me know what you guys think of Love and Deep Space are you guys playing what do you guys think of it let me know what you think of it based on this video based on me ranting now are you interested in playing it if you're in it um, I'm gonna leave my code you could add me on the game and we can be friends I'm gonna leave my code in the description in general just talk to me I like reading your comments just talk and with that being said I will see you guys in the next video bye by the way, my braids are under this. Like, I have individuals on under this wig. Like this? This is what's happening behind that hair. <laughs> Happy Black History Month. Bye! <laughs>